everybody i thought i'd pop on here and do a very quick video because well hopefully it's going to be quick because i haven't done this video for a long time i did one on my youtube channel a few years ago um when i was kind of just starting out this whole journey of being a social media influencer whatever they are of what's in my mummy bag now back when i did that video i had babies i think so i had a proper changing bag now i have a small rucksack so i wanted to kind of explain to everybody and share with you what i now have for my everyday bag i suppose i've got three daughters they are 10 years old six and four one of them is behind the camera so i apologize for any noise i've had this bag for over a year now and it is a Kath Kidson bag. I have no idea what the name of it is, but it's a Kath Kidson kids bag because I'm very small. I wanted a bag that was not going to look like I was being drowned by it. I have this one in the kind of most not childish print that I could find. So I'm going to show you what's in the front of the bag first. Oh, and I also have this key ring on it. It's like a puzzle. I had a viewer or a watcher or a follower send this to me when we had my daughter diagnosed with autism so I always keep it on me I have actually hit the children a couple of times as I like swing my bag over and it swings but I love it and I feel too bad like I don't want to take it off in the front compartment I have my lipstick I love this one at the moment this is the Maybelline Superstay ink ink crayon and it's in number 15 lead the way and I really love it and it stays on really well I also have my ear ear earphones. I really want to get those AirPods because now it's summer and I'm not got a coat. I haven't got a coat and I haven't got pockets. It's really difficult to listen. So I have my earphones in there all the time, and I really love listening to podcasts when I'm on my way to pick up Elsa. I also have my migraine tablets. I haven't actually had to use these yet, despite the fact that the box is really yeah anyway i get really bad migraines and they've prescribed me some medication for when that hits hopefully will help i have a lip balm this is mainly for the kids i don't really use it um this is nivea lip butter blueberry blush blush yeah blueberry blush um and they love that i also have a little pack and i'm so glad i found these from El elastoplast disney frozen plaster case basically that holds loads of plasters in it this has been my go-to at the moment where the kids are wearing um shorts and tripping over it's definitely been a lifesaver and i'm also there handy when anybody else's child falls over and i'm like does anyone want a plaster so i always have that and it's actually really lightweight i then have a couple of glasses wipes or cleaning wipes for glasses or screens i wear glasses and sunglasses and they get smudged all the time with the kids so I always have those on me just to kind of freshen up I also have this pouch this came with like a brand thing that I did from a few years ago actually I think with a sanitary pad thing but it was actually for hair bubbles but I've reutilized it for sanitary pads so I have always keep loads on me because I never know when anybody else might need anything or if I need something so have that all in there and that is all that is kept in the front compartment of my bag and then we're going to move on to the main area now i really try to keep my bag as light as possible because being small yeah it's just not nice on my back so first things first i'm gonna pull out randomly things i have this it is my camera lens cleaner thing it's got the cleaning brush on the top and then you kind of push that out and it has like a fluffy brush that you can clean the camera with they're the two other things i always have i have my phone and my camera in my bag i'm using them at the moment to film so they're not in there at the moment then i have some water wipes antibacterial hygiene cleansing without alcohol for hands and face because children get mucky especially with ice lollies and things like that and these have been great and I've, again i've used these to like clean surfaces in restaurants and things as well um, and they were really handy when we went on holiday recently these are new addition to my bag and they're actually making my bag a little bit heavy but they're antiseptic wipes and like i said my kids are prone to falling over one of them is hypermobile the other one runs really fast and just always hurts herself so this would just be there on hand if i need to clean up any injuries then i have a packet of tissues because my hay fever is going through the roof at the moment if you follow me on instagram i've always got a tissue on me people probably think i've got a horrible cold for the past like three months but very handy and i keep having to top them up i have a pen because everyone always needs a pen so it's in there i don't tend to use it myself i always use it for something like borrowing to somebody else or lending to somebody else i then have this little um case little purse i suppose and inside it has two spare camera batteries a couple of blog business cards and a tampon 
basically i usually pick this up if we go to events or something and i change to a better bag like a more grown-up bag so i always like to say like i said have a tampon to hand glasses case this actually has my sunglasses in at the moment with a wipe you know this wipe thing stupidly i didn't get prescription sunglasses well i did but i don't like them so i just use my cheap primark ones that have lasted me over a year now i love them and i really would like to get the same in a prescription so i always have them on me and i swap in and out depending on where we're going and last but not least i have my purse it's a radley purse i was gifted it by my mother-in-law for a birthday present um and i love it i would actually like to get a smaller one as well that's it that's all that's in my bag i do usually and i don't today because they've been eaten and it's the afternoon i usually put a couple of um cupboard snacks in there as well because the kids always say they're hungry so i usually have like a cereal bar or something like that so that is what's in my mummy bag i hope it's given you some inspiration you really don't need to take your whole kitchen sink and your whole wardrobe and stuff with you especially when they're older clean it afterwards yeah so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all again very soon Bye bye